Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Everyone's in class. But where's William? He's listening to a song on his tape recorder. Oh yes, I can see him. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. What about Mary? Can you see her? She's over there, reading a book about robots. But which girl's Mary? She's got curly hair and glasses. And who's the boy over there? Do you mean the boy playing with a computer game? Yes. That's George, isn't it? Oh yes, that's him. Look, that girl is whispering a secret to her friend. Who is she? That's Daisy. She's always talking. Yes, she is. Where's May? I can't see her. Can you see the girl next to the window? Is she looking at a butterfly? Yes, that's right. She loves all insects and butterflies. Oh, that boy's got a cough. Where? In front of the teacher's desk. Do you think he's ill? No, that's Peter and he's just eating sweets. He's always eating something. Look at the teacher. Nobody is listening to him. Now listen to part one again. What about Mary? Can you see her? She's over there, reading a book about robots. But which girl's Mary? She's got curly hair and glasses. And who's the boy over there? Do you mean the boy playing with a computer game? Yes. That's George, isn't it? Oh yes, that's him. Look, that girl is whispering a secret to her friend. Who is she? That's Daisy. She's always talking. Yes, she is. Where's May? I can't see her. Can you see the girl next to the window? Is she looking at a butterfly? Yes, that's right. She loves all insects and butterflies. Oh, that boy's got a cough. Where? In front of the teacher's desk. Do you think he's ill? No, that's Peter and he's just eating sweets. He's always eating something. Look at the teacher. Nobody is listening to him. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. What's your surname, please, Sarah? Tanner. Can you spell that, please? Yes. It's T A double N E R. Thank you. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Now, you want to take books from the school library, don't you? Yes, please. Good. How old are you, Sarah? I'm eight. My birthday is in September. OK, that's fine. And who's your teacher? Mrs Drummond. Can you spell that for me, please? Yes. D R U. Double M O N D. Right. And what books do you like best? Animal stories. Excellent. We've got some lovely stories about animals in the library. That's good. Now, what are your hobbies, Sarah? Riding. I love horses. That's good. Now, the last question How many books do you want? Sorry? I mean, how many books do you want to take each week? Oh, I see. I'd like five, please. I read a lot of books at home. That's fine. You can go and choose five books now if you like. 
Thank you. Now listen to part two again. Now, you want to take books from the school library, don't you? Yes, please. Good. How old are you, Sarah? I'm eight. My birthday is in September. OK, that's fine. And who's your teacher? Mrs Drummond. Can you spell that for me, please? Yes. D-R-U-M-M-O-N-D. Right. And what books do you like best? Animal stories. Excellent. We've got some lovely stories about animals in the library. That's good. Now, what are your hobbies, Sarah? Riding. I love horses. That's good. Now, the last question, how many books do you want? Sorry? I mean, how many books do you want to take each week? Oh, I see. I'd like five, please. I read a lot of books at home. That's fine. You can go and choose five books now, if you like. Thank you. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Paul's big sister is telling him about her day at work yesterday. She works in a large shop. Which thing did each person buy? I'm happy. I don't have to work today, Paul. It was very busy in the shop yesterday. Did lots of people come into the shop? Yes. Six people that I know came in. You know Mrs Cook, Mum's friend? She was the first person. She bought a newspaper on her way to the office. Can you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Later in the day, Miss Hill came in too. She works at the school. Oh, I know. She's a secretary there. That's right. She wanted a new dress for a party. She found one which she liked a lot and bought it. So that was good. It was very expensive. Who were the other people? Well, Mr Wood came in. You know him too. He works at the library, remember? He had a suitcase with him because he was on his way to the airport. He just wanted a comb because his old one was broken. He stopped and said hello to me. And Dad's friend came in and bought a rucksack. He's going camping this weekend. He looked at the cameras too, but he didn't get one of those. Which friend do you mean? Um, Mr Salt, that's right. I don't know his first name. Did Fred come in? No, but his mum did, Mrs Gold. I haven't seen her for a long time. She ran in and chose a magazine to read on the train. She didn't buy anything else. She was very late. The train leaves at five past ten and it was already ten o'clock. The last person that I saw yesterday was Mr Rich. He wanted a new shirt. He only wears ones with spots, but they were all too small for him. In the end, he bought one with stripes. It looked very good. Wow! You were busy! Yes. I'm going to do nothing today. Now listen to part three again. Later in the day, Miss Hill came in too. She works at the school. Oh, I know. She's a secretary there. That's right. She wanted a new dress for a party. She found one which she liked a lot and bought it. So that was good. It was very expensive. Who were the other people? Well, Mr Wood came in. You know him too. He works at the library, remember? He had a suitcase with him because he was on his way to the airport. He just wanted a comb because his old one was broken. He stopped and said hello to me. And 
Dad's friend came in and bought a rucksack. He's going camping this weekend. He looked at the cameras too, but he didn't get one of those. Which friend do you mean? Um, Mr. Salt. That's right. I don't know his first name. Did Fred come in? No, but his mum did, Mrs. Gold. I haven't seen her for a long time. She ran in and chose a magazine to read on the train. She didn't buy anything else. She was very late. The train leaves at five past ten, and it was already ten o'clock. The last person that I saw yesterday was Mr. Rich. He wanted a new shirt. He only wears ones with spots, but they were all too small for him. In the end, he bought one with stripes. It looked very good. Wow, you were busy. Yes, I'm going to do nothing today. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What did John do last weekend? Did you have a nice weekend, John? Yes, but I was very tired at the end of it. Why? Did you go running or swimming? No, I went mountain climbing. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Did anyone go with him? Who did you go with? I went with two other people. Your older brothers? No, my uncle and aunt took me. They often go to the mountains. Two. What was the weather like? Was the weather okay? Well, no, that was part of the problem. It didn't rain, but was it too cold? Did it snow in the mountains? Not where we were. The problem was fog. We couldn't see. Three. What happened to John? What happened next? I fell over a rock. Did you hurt your leg? No, but I broke my left shoulder. Four. How did he get to hospital? It hurt a lot. I couldn't walk. How did you get down the mountain? Did someone carry you? No, it was too difficult. There wasn't a road for the ambulance, so a helicopter came and took me to hospital. Excellent. Five. What is John going to do next weekend? Then I spent three days in bed in hospital. Well, what are you going to do next weekend? Stay at home and watch television. I'm going to stay in my armchair and read a book. That's not dangerous. I think you're right. Now listen to part four again. One. Did anyone go with him? Who did you go with? I went with two other people. Your older brothers? No, my uncle and aunt took me. They often go to the mountains. Two. What was the weather like? Was the weather okay? Well, no. That was part of the problem. It didn't rain, but was it too cold? Did it snow in the mountains? Not where we were. The problem was fog. We couldn't see. Three. 
What happened to John? What happened next? I fell over a rock. Did you hurt your leg? No, but I broke my left shoulder. Took me to. Four. How did he get to hospital? It hurt a lot. I couldn't walk. How did you get down the mountain? Did someone carry you? No, it was too difficult. There wasn't a road for the ambulance, so a helicopter came and took me to hospital. Excellent. Five. What is John going to do next weekend? Then I spent three days in bed in hospital. Well, what are you going to do next weekend? Stay at home and watch television. I'm going to stay in my armchair and read a book. That's not dangerous. I think you're right. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Do you want to help me? I'm making a picture to put outside my cafe, so a lot of people will come in and have tea. All right. What can I do? Can you see the woman who's sitting at the table? Color her dress black. Can you see the woman's black dress? This is an example. Now you listen and color and draw. One. Can you see the plates? Which plates? The little ones on the table, or the big ones on the wall? The three little ones on the table. Color two of them yellow, and one of them pink. Okay. Now look at the curtains in the window. Yes, that's right. Can you color them blue, please? Three. What should we do now? Shall I color the cake on the table? Yes, please. You choose a color. Okay. I like chocolate cake best, so I'll color it brown. Under the window. Four. Would you like to draw something now? Yes, but what shall I draw? Something nice. I know. I'll draw some flowers. Where are you going to put them? Here, on the table under the window. I'll color them purple. Oh, they look lovely. Five. What else do we need in the picture? I know one thing which we need. What's that? Your cafe is called the Green Parrot, isn't it? Yes, I know. You want to color the parrot at the top of the picture green. Yes. That's lovely. I'm sure a lot of people will come to my cafe now. Now listen to part five again. One. Can you see the plates? Which plates? The little ones on the table, or the big ones on the wall? The three little ones on the table. Color two of them yellow, and one of them pink. Okay.
two. Now look at the curtains. In the window. Yes, that's right. Can you colour them blue, please? Three. What shall we do now? Shall I colour the cake on the table? Yes, please. You choose a colour. Okay. I like chocolate cake best, so I'll colour it brown. Four. Would you like to draw something now? Yes, but what shall I draw? Something nice. I know. I'll draw some flowers. Where are you going to put them? Here, on the table under the window. I'll colour them purple. Oh, they look lovely. Five. What else do we need in the picture? I know one thing which we need. What's that? Your cafe is called the Green Parrot, isn't it? Yes, I know. You want to colour the parrot at the top of the picture green. Yes. That's lovely. I'm sure a lot of people will come to my cafe now. That is the end of the Flyers' Practice Listening Test 3.